The that's Titan, that's like for NASA. Series, that's, for, that's for NASA to like fly spaceships. <laughs> <laughs> that's if you have a fifteen hundred dollars. That's when they want to project something on the moon. Oh, I see. <laughs> they use that. <laughs> Flight unknown on the moon, Play, right? right? Oh, okay. Um, you wait. They're gonna start advertising on the moon. I'm telling you now. Oh, cool. Yeah. Full moon Pepsi logo. Oh, that's it's a good idea. Happen. That's a really good idea. They're gonna fucking. They're gonna fucking advertise on the goddamn moon. And they're gonna fuck cost and lot. advertise on they're the moon. They're not gonna. Wait, who owns it? Good for them. Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah, they're gonna be like, we we own it. It's our moon. You, we own the side. How do you, you buy the moon? Oh, how Look, do you buy anything? How do we? Because we stuck our fucking. Why do we flag own it? But like, who gets paid in the U.S.? Who gets the royalties from? Yeah, moon like ads? it's not Neil Armstrong. Well, what if what if what if what if, what if uh, Starbucks okay. goes to the moon and you're like, I'm gonna build a Starbucks? No, no, no. Uh, they need to talk to. I, I would assume NASA owns it. Yeah. <laughs> No, NASA does not own the moon. I mean, we were the first to get there. <laughs> so it's like, it's not, we were here first, finders keepers. <laughs> I mean, does finders anyone keepers. else have a legitimate claim? We fucking went just, there and put a flag in it. Look, we played golf there. It's we own it. It's tough to argue. Like, it's NASA tough to owns it. Like this yeah. No, NASA, they have the receipt. Assets. Yeah. <laughs> Who has the receipt? Shit. Oh, shit. We got shit. a bunch of moon rocks back there in storage. I think Neil, ours. Neil had it last. Oh, shit. <laughs> Next yeah. up, Ken. It's in the I Armstrong mean, family. It's fine. You know, I guess uh, possessions nine tenths of the yeah. law. Right? I, like, I think how, if, how in the court of law, if this went to the courts, who I, would sue us over ownership, though? Like I did, Russia Earth? was trying to go there for a long time. Like the World Court, like some sort of World Council. Wait, like, yeah, the Galactic no, America, Council. You guys, you guys, Wait. been struggling. Has you don't... anyone else even walked on it? Like I know there's like eighteen people have walked on the moon or something. It's all America, right? Nobody. I don't think it's cost efficient. Like nobody's found a good. Well, reason. if no one else can even get there, no, no, then no, I think no, it's no, safe no. to other, say it's other ours. countries have done stuff. Well, there. I think I don't China. Know if, I don't know if people other... robots. Oh, I feel bad. I look it up. Yeah. I don't know. I feel if like actual... it's also like the ocean, where it's just like a no man's land that no one owns it, or like yeah. everyone owns. It. And you can like yeah, exactly. and you can like sell booze without taxes. Yeah, exactly. On the moon. Okay. The moon is duty free. Vinny just oh, searched cool. who owns the moon. No, <laughs> no. I did not. Uh, who has? How many people have walked on the I moon? I want to say it's like 18 or 24 had or like something. like nine shuttles, I think, go up there. Okay, Apollo 11, Apollo 12, Apollo 14. 16, 17. Uh, 12, 12 people. And they're all like Apollo 12 missions. And they're all there you go. It's I think ours. once they realize that, like, dude, we're not going to make our money back Another, here. Not yeah, There's no gold not be here. selling rocks. The, or the or ROI anything. on moon landing is not, not so great. Well, also, they like they send robots now. Right. Yeah. And I feel like other countries have sent robots. Yeah. Is our buggy still up there, I assume? I think they leave a lot of shit up there. Yeah. 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 So golf it's, balls and buggies and flags. It's the moon's problem now. <laughs> man, moon people. Like, you're, they're going to leave my, leave, take only pictures and I leave your I want to go to Mars. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would sign up for that. Oh man! Uh, Even if it was a one-way trip, yeah, or not. Uh, a, yeah, I'd have to talk trip. to my wife about it, and I'd have to make sure so. she's okay with going with me. I think the only they have only I've seen a lot of sci-fi movies, and all of those seem to end well. I think from so, yeah. Matt Damon, I, I, peaceful, yeah. I've, I've never seen a, a Mars movie go poorly. Uh-uh. No, no, Total Recall was no. like completely what you want. Everything Mission always to Mars. Out. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, well, you wait, in all seriousness, because that is a thing. I, can't you sign up for something now to go to Mars? There's like a short list. Uh, yeah, I've no, got I've got a list. How think, much money you got? I think early talks are happening. Like, <laughs> oh, probably in 2040, we'll send a thing. But like, I don't think there's like a, a kidney waiting list for the yeah, Mars right now. I'm not. I I think uh, mankind should, uh, humankind should constantly be searching for the next great thing. I just don't know if we should be going to Mars. Like, oh my God, why what? do we need to go there? Because, because you it's the last so frontier of space. That, yeah. No, it's not. What? It's like the beginning. Uh, yeah, it's kind yeah, of. I know, but we got to eventually get it's moving in that way, right? Next door neighbor. It's yeah, like, but we got to keep pushing out and get so, to Star Trek yeah. land and so what, Star start Trek, with Mars. I mean, we've got satellites that are way out there. So what would you? What uh, What does it take for you to sign up to go to Mars? Uh, I got to talk to my wife. Okay, she's on board. Yeah, the Mars. Okay, she's coming. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, she's coming. Yeah, she's coming. Yeah, okay. okay, I'd have to. Are you talk. a colonist? Are I'd you first to, first lander? Like, I'd have to talk to Les Moonves to see if I can still like Skype in or something. We can Skype in. I can. Okay, I can yeah. do like, a, like a Patrick bit situation. Of a delay. You can live stream. <laughs> okay, bit of a right. delay. Uh, but like, are you on the ship that has to like land on barren Mars and then be like first colonist? And, yeah. Like, build well, here, no. Here's what I picture. Okay. If I'm going to do this, and this isn't legally binding, what I'm saying right now. Okay, so fine. Okay, everyone got that. Here. Everyone got that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Big ship, first ship going out. Uh, first there's ship. like colony four, ship. There's like forty to eighty people on the ship. That's not a huge ship, but okay. But you have different uh, specialties, and a lot of them need to be scientists. Yeah. Uh, for like planting crops or whatever, yeah. a lot of them need to be space people to steer the ship. 
Um, so 39 people. scientists and Dan. <laughs> well, there's a couple of CBS. Remember, there's a couple of space people. Right. Space, we, need, <laughs> we need like four space people to make sure the ship's good. Yeah. We need like a sassy robot that's going to like go around and eventually yeah. go evil call, and destroy us all. What do you call the sassy robot? Uh, what was that? It was from Interstellar. Was it oh, Tars yeah. Was that Kevin Spacey? <laughs> I don't know, but why would we'll that call him Spacey. The, Spacey like the, the robot. the inconvenient robot ever. Oh, the one with the like block legs? The design was so cool. I love the design. Wait, so you're going to call it you're going to call it Spacey? That's a good name for Oh, I was just saying Kevin Spacey, but Spacey's totally <laughs> okay, fucking sense. Spacey. Yeah, Spacey's sense. the robot. Okay, but, okay. He's, but he's Kevin Spacey from House of Cards. Right. That's the, yeah. No, well, just the actor Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Kevin Spacey and he dressed up like a robot. <laughs> okay. What's also <laughs> crazy is that like the first people who are going to live on there. Mars are going to have to populate Mars. Yeah. So Dan, you're. You're the one populating Mars. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Uh, all right. Again, I got to talk to my wife. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're patient zero. Or, or like, you know, you, you bring embryos or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. <laughs> so wait, let, let's break it down. Let's say there's eight. Oh, I got bad news for y'all The None Fridge. of the embryos <laughs> survived. The fridge didn't survive. So. <laughs> Why is it like it's Matthew Kevin, McConaughey? It's Kevin like, Spacey. Like, from Spacey. House, that's my Kevin Spacey from House of Cards. It's just space cowboy shit. <laughs> no, that's what Kevin Spacey I sounds I got like. bad news I for got, the galaxy. It's, you're going to have to get the oh. fucking. <laughs> Start fucking now. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you're drawing this I, out. I'm doing the math here. Okay, yeah. so we got four space people. Yeah. We got Spacey. Are space people astronauts? Yeah, is that what yeah astronauts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess we're all space people at this point. You're all astronauts. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. okay, but four like space experts. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, Spacey the robot, who yeah. is just Kevin Spacey dressed like a robot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 20 scientists, and their job is to build and grow food. Make sure everybody Mars. survives. Right? And yeah. we're assuming everyone has passed like the psychological evaluations that yeah, come we're, we're, we're okay, probably. Okay. I mean, yeah, we'll sure. get to that. This is sure, final sure. manifest. Uh, final. Okay, gotcha. 20 architects to build our space homes. That seems like a Mars mm-hmm. home. That seems like a Yeah, that's 20, How many... I think you two need, like, architects and then you're a laborer. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's a laborer. So the people building... So architects don't build the house. Also, uh, right? I, no. okay. I believe how it works in the space stations is people have two specialties. So one will oh. be specialized in like aerospace engineering and... Botany. Botany, then, which is like, I think, it, the Mars... Then we'll botany. have 20 architects slash house builders. 20? You don't need 20 That's architects. Like, well, how many like houses got to take a long time to build? Everybody's yeah, but gonna they help only build. plan it. Every, I don't know how to build a house. You're going to learn. Fuck. Okay, well then... <laughs> also, how many, don't forget we have robots. No, we, it's just that by just the time Kevin. we get there. Just Kevin Spacey. How about suits, like like uh, like mech suits? Okay. Uh, you can, you can do, do the work in the next couple men. years. We don't really have okay. mech suits Okay, all right, yet. so we're just going manually. We're going soon. Okay. Uh, so 10 architects slash builder people. Uh-huh. Um, it's like a lot of space for the architects slash builder yeah. I just assumed it took like a bunch of people to hold up like well, planks like, and, and stuff. You, an architect just plans the design of it. The okay. The builders... Okay, like, I think that's then, then, then one really good yeah, I feel designer. Like everyone you know, I'm fine with like the model home thing where it's like, hey, it's we're inflatable. early on. Yeah. We're yeah, going to make like the prefab. same house yeah. like thir- 30 times or yeah. whatever. Okay, so one architect, <laughs> okay. 10 builder guys. I'll, okay. <laughs> I mean, a builder guy is also like, I would say, I would call them engineers. Okay, can they do all the labor stuff? Like, can they? I guess you don't have to, like cut yards on Mars or anything. <laughs> what? 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 Like, like, we, like, we the need to like want it to all look nice and everything. So you're talking about manual no. labor. Looking nice no. is way down on the list. Okay, okay so we have ten people that just like build stuff and clean the place up. And no, Ooh. this is no. They're like engineers who are like, listen, I know how to weld. But who's like hammering the fucking houses together? The engineers. Okay, but the, should they do other or like totally. tough guy stuff? <laughs> okay, like security. <laughs> like, Wait, like, we don't need cool guys on Mars. I mean, but to, when I think of someone building a house, yeah. like that has to be like a, a like a strong person, right? No, the, no, you're holding no. up like concrete and wood and stuff. Have you the Amish build houses? All I the have time? no idea how a house. Okay, is well, great. We'll See, I know there's that. there's wood <laughs> and heavy on, stuff and on. nails. So, so this you don't interview understand. isn't going well at all. <laughs> so you don't understand how as house. a candidate for a Mars traveler, <laughs> I, the I, first I, thing you start with, I have no idea. <laughs> I have seen houses, no houses under construction right. in various forms. Right. And there's always just like giant pieces of wood, and there's like concrete foundations, and then there's and a cranes. House. And fast forward to like four months later, Dan gets a letter in the mail after <laughs> after vetting your interview process. We think it's a Morris One project has decided, <laughs> regrettably, to not invite so you. Let's, so let's, let's, take your, let's take your house building people, and we'll call them engineers. They're responsible for repairs right, so, on the ship. They're so responsible for. We're going to call them builders on my document. Here. Okay, uh, ten builders, okay. one architect. Uh, okay. Okay. This is, this is so building. right now. Builders who who ha- also happen to have like aerospace engineering degrees. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Why? Because they have to fix the rockets. Oh, because the gravity's yeah. weird too. You yeah, that's have, why. Yeah. <laughs> Although yeah. if we're building the house, you got to factor in totally like the, the weight of the wood has to match the. I mean, that's the architect's atmosphere. job. But sure. And we'll also just say that these builders also encompass like 
uh, like electricians, sure. and like plumbers, and the more special yeah, okay. stuff. Yeah. All in the umbrella of builders. Yeah. So, yeah, builders. <laughs> the technical so, term. They're real good with their Lego kits. <laughs> so the architect would have, when, when I say like deal with the gravity and stuff, like an architect has to do the math stuff too. It's not just like, I want this room to be a no, circle. No, no, they, no there's they, actual they like to math. Know, like and, the load of the bearing. So there's uh, science and architect work. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. You have to be certified and you have to go to school and you have mm-hmm. to have, like, okay, be so, able to, like look at a skyscraper. Yeah. Like, you right. have to know like how the weight distributes. and. But an architect, you're saying, is more than, he's not just drawing like, that'd be a cool looking building. Are you like, joking no, right now? I'm no, actually not like, oh, when I think about it. Here's, I, I kind of okay. want to. Okay, end this. Yeah, yeah. We can just answer for you if you don't want to like dig yourself into a deeper <laughs> hole. <laughs> no, I'm fine with not knowing what I'm talking about here. I assumed the architect was the design thing. Like, hey, I made a bunch of blueprints, and yeah. like, wouldn't it, like when you see like a crazy museum, like the EMP Museum in Seattle, and it's all yeah. like, whoa, it's yeah. all wavy and stuff. Right. I assumed an architect drew like, ooh, what if it looked like that? And then you get the builder guys to be like, all right, we'll get, get some concrete. Well, but then who decides? Like, well, you know, you made your wall out of fluff and nutter. That's I think that's the the builder guy's job to figure out to Not make sure that it's, that it's feasible. I bet the architect talks to the builder guys before they start building to be like, is this feasible? Can this be done physically? There are it's, there are architects, there are industrial engineers, there are people who can like figure out what the, hey, this is a load-bearing wall, the, this material can't right. hold this. Obviously, it has to flex, it has to, you know, the wind shear of course. from this. I know there's like, tons of science that goes into this stuff. I've seen like the documentary. Yeah, but the architect about, like, does more than just that. That's okay. What, that's why I didn't know people, that fell under the architect's umbrella. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, listen, they're probably are just creative people who are like, here's a fantasy building. I would love to what make. What if it looked like a donut? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if it looked like a donut? But then, like, usually then some guy comes in with a lab coat and is like, well, you actually can't build a building. But, but I think that's the fascinating part about like celebrated architects are like, wow, this structure is amazing. I can't sure. believe you got yeah. this. The like, okay, this, this whole wall is glass. Right, any, How did you do right, that? Because any prick can just you know draw like a dinosaur building and be like, that's my thing. You know, right? But <laughs> I assume that like somewhere more... in San Francisco, Alex has thrown his headphones off again and is laying on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I assume. He doesn't, doesn't know why yet. He doesn't know why yet, but he'll figure it out. Anyway, what's, what's, what's your final talent? <laughs> oh, well, we still have some space on the ship. Yeah. Uh, so we got four space people. We got Kevin Spacey. No pets? Uh, oh, we should bring pets. Uh, we'll get to that. Do they, they don't take up people slots, though. No. Um, we got 20 scientists for the food stuff. We got one really good architect and 10 builders. So right now, <laughs> one really we good. have like over 40 slots available. I think pets what are a separate slots. What slot. are you guys eating? Whatever the scientists are going to make, uh, what is it, Tang? Why are the, the scientists are going to make Tang? Well, the, the scientists are going to handle all the food stuff. Okay. So the okay. Tang, that's a space person. Thing. Yeah, it's like a the dried ice space cream. Joke. But yeah. if we're setting up an actual, <laughs> it, is, it is space. They're going to raid cream. all the gift shops and all the <laughs> museums yeah. all around the world. We're going to have fidget spinners and <laughs> astronaut ice cream for days. <laughs> if we're going to all the silly string, I you take it back. I, I take it back. We're not going to eat the traditional. Tang astronaut food right. because we're setting up a colony. We need yeah. to survive on Tell real that, sustenance Dan, and stuff. Do you think on <laughs> space shuttles and the International Space Station astronauts are opening up the museum astronaut food? <laughs> it's like I'm so I'm so him. sick of astronaut ice cream. I knew I knew this getting into this. They just pull it off the rack. I knew getting into this that astronauts have to eat astronaut ice cream for dessert every night, but like. <laughs> I guess to be honest, I have no idea. They just I just see, assumed they it just was... see like a picture of themselves on the wrapper, and they're like, "Oh, this is yeah. good. It made just uh, for me, you know." And they also just Can't have people wash honor. it down with some tang. <laughs> they just have tons of those balls that expand and contract, like those ones that are just like, "Oh wow, it's amazing! It gets super wide, like too wide, and then just it goes right back into like a little like one, it's one a huge ball. blue whale hanging. Right <laughs> from... It's like, man, this is a pretty cool place. Yeah, it just says, it's got a shirt that says "Awesome Astronaut," like a glow like, in the dark <laughs> stars on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, genuine question here. Yeah. Do they have like like fruits and vegetables in space? Yeah, now? they have a lot of like uh, like freeze dried stuff. Yeah. So they like okay. rehydrate it. What it's is like the apparently pretty good food from what I understand. It's sort of like like the stuff you get in like those emergency packets. Where oh it's yeah, all, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, so what is stopping like when they go up to the space station or whatever when there's like a new crew going up from just like oh we brought just a ton of potatoes and carrots like why do they have to be wait. special because dried? They oh, it's go wait. bad. Yeah, it's and a oh, weight thing, and the good. food will yeah, go yeah. bad. Whereas the stuff will stay good for so years. So you take the water out of something yeah. uh, it won't rot is that what silica gel packets do I'm sorry silica gel they, packets. they yeah. extract that, water taking the moisture out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. okay uh, so all the ones that you've eaten yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh I haven't yet but, but apparently like from what I understand you want as you want 
the water is weight as well, right? So if you get right. all the water out, oh. uh, you, you take a lot of the weight so, out. So weight is at a premium because you're weight is loading the space. Thing. Okay. Well, no. Well, no, but, but no, wait, it's, it's not, weightless. No, no, no. no, no it's the no, cost well, of getting it out of atmosphere. Oh, oh it's yeah. the fuel cost to yeah, get it out. Right. But once it's there, it, weight is infinite. So you can, that, you're un- unencumbered. That is why mining for water is a huge industry. Mm-hmm. And like, if you find water in space and like mining comets for water is like what people are looking at to be the money maker. Because getting water into space is super expensive. Yeah. I oh. think a lot of uh, astronauts drink like recycled. Pee, yeah. Basically. Oh, it's like a water world thing. W- yeah. Water, like it's so expensive. Like for, water's really expen- heavy. Yeah. And like, you know, it costs a lot of fuel to get, you know, the weight up there huh. and the design of your ship. And like, that's why those things are like 100, like 90% fuel. You're just sitting on fuel yeah, the whole yeah. time. Yeah. So, like, imagine having to spend all of that to be, like, fucking water. I didn't even think of that, because that's, like, the most critical thing. Right. But it's also super heavy. Humans need water. Yes. And, and air. oxygen, yeah. But yeah, but there's, there's oxygen light. doesn't weigh that much. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we have a lot of slots on the ship. Okay, are we okay done? so are we done with this? I think we, uh, yeah, we got into this saying, I don't think we should go to Mars, but... You know. Why did we start talking about this? I don't know. We're talking about uh, oh, who owns putting ads on the moon. Yeah, who, oh, yeah right. I wanted. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Which is more realistic than going to Mars. At Sorry, this folks. Point. E3 happens once a year. <laughs> <laughs> we'll kick back up. We need this. Uh, so you figured out your list? We'll work on well, this. Well, no, this we have an, slots. I mean, I guess ongoing. we're ending an hour. We'll, we'll have to talk after the show. How, wait, let me ask you this: How do you not have slots? Like, when do your slots? What is your metric for when slots are filled up? Well, because we said eighty. We did? Yeah, well, I, I, 40. I think we, we said 40 to 80, and then I decided arbitrarily it's 80. Right. But just, I think we need more than just like these five things. Okay, so uh, let's just say you fill out the rest with your colonists, right? Well, like, colonists should have skills, too. They should have skills. What's your skill? Uh, I'm going to be the entertainer, and also <laughs> it sounds like me and Bianca are repopulating Mars or populating it. So <laughs> we're going to be busy. Bianca. Oh, she's gonna, yeah, honey, we're, yeah, we got to have a talk. <laughs> Entertainers. Uh, entertain. So like you're going to bring your like your wrestling tapes up there, and like, be like you guys are going to love this. Everyone's going to play Mario Maker. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I'll, I'll have a WWE Network subscription up there. Hey, <laughs> how many rounds? At least we got a long time. I brought all the Mario parties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mission failed to Mars. <laughs> Seems like self-destructed. <laughs> Seven hours in. <laughs> uh, I think. I think. I think going to the moon would be cool. I think going to Mars, launching then from the moon to Mars, seems to make sense to me. So moon is like a pit stop. I think if you can find the like ice caps on the, on the moon, if you can figure mm-hmm. out how to. Uh, fuel up and use uh, hydrogen for fuel. And I think that they, if anything, would use the moon to like slingshot, right? Uh, I don't know enough about astrophysics. <laughs> well, I played some Kerbal, but okay. I think you could do that. I think more of like, yes, a pit stop, like if they could figure out how to refine oh. the materials you need. Like you want to, again, this I've read a lot of science fiction, so that's all where this comes from. <laughs> Uh, I think if you want to build your ships in space, you want to get your materials out there mm. to a station where you're constructing all of this in space yeah. uh, to lower costs of getting everything out there. Then yeah. you take shuttles with the people to your your colony ship, and then you have all the resources gathered over years and years and years and years, and then you want to take that. And you want to – I think this was in The Martian too. You want to precede Mars with the materials. Shoot them I over there. Right? I get it. Yeah. I get it. We got Earth problems though. Yeah, we do. Let's That's do, where we need to get out of here. Earth problems. Earth uh, problems are plenty, but not for IO Interactive. Whoa. <laughs> what a segue. Nailed Whoa. It.